Yeah, I actually have another one I thought of. I, well, I thought of earlier, but haven't checked in yet. Uh, and that's how would you like rank the like big fours like specialty like series? Mm-hmm. So like reverse retro for NHL, color rush for NFL, city connect for MLB, and city edition for NBA. Just like how would you rank those four? Like, just okay. either in concept or like actual execution. I think um... I'm just gonna say real quick. I think I rank City Edition for NBA, the concept of it, as number one. The execution, not so much, because it's, it's just a new cool. jersey every single year. But if, you know, you gave each jersey a couple years to marinate and, you know, mm-hmm. spend a little more time on each one instead of just color swapping year after year and stuff like that, I think you have something really great there. But I think it's a little overdone with changing yeah. every single year for every single team. Even do kind of like what City Connect is doing with a little bit of a rotation. Honestly, maybe I should put City Connect first by concept because they're kind of doing that, even if the yeah. jerseys themselves aren't turning out great. So, yeah, I guess I'll go City Connect first. Yeah, the NBA it's kind of what the like, NBA City jerseys should be. Yeah, the City Edition jerseys are extraordinarily hit or miss. Like, Utah, yeah. fantastic. Uh, sure, uh, Miami's pretty dang good. Which, uh, speaking uh, of those, maybe we'll have to Toronto. have you back on because that's a... That's a, a, co- a topic that we have in the bank, the City Edition jerseys for this year, so... Yeah, sure. I think I think for me it's it's weird that I think City Connect is actually at the bottom. Well, it's again it's execution versus concept because I think in concept I hate City Connect just because it feels like it was just ripped directly from the ML from the NBA. Sorry. Um, I think I think City Edition is great. I think it's really cool. I love. I try to you know when I can bring in some local elements into jerseys. I think it's really fun just in in terms of full time jerseys even. So I, I love the concept of city jerseys. I like Color Rush a lot. Honestly, I think Reverse Retro is like the most boring of them because for the most part, it's, you know, you've got, like I'm, and I think I know Beepo is the same way. I'm always a proponent of try something new, you know, even if it sucks. Like I love, I love this year's stadium. I love stadium series jerseys in general, even though they're often aesthetically ugly. Yeah. Um, I think Reverse Retro, Reverse Retro isn't really something that excites me, to be honest. I think I'm, I'm over it after having it once. Um, I know I'd rather I'd always rather see teams try something new than than throw back. Um, obviously, there's certain situations where I don't think the Penguins can top, you know, their current jerseys that they threw back to. Um, but like like stuff like we're seeing in Arizona, um, in in Ottawa, honestly, even in Calgary. I know I mentioned that I, I like them more than I used to. I think Calgary could have a lot more fun with their brand um, than just throwing back to something like that, even though it's a good look. Um, so I think Reverse Retro is. I don't want to say lazy because I get why they're doing it and they're having some fun with it. But for me, you know, I'd much rather see one of the more forward thinking trends like like we see in the other big three sports. Um, yeah. than something like reverse retro, which feels like recycling something just with a different coat of paint on it. Yeah. And I mean, uh, it's a topic for a future episode. But as Chris from Aesthetics reports that the new reverse retro, some teams are going to bend the definition of retro or reverse or whatever it was. I don't yeah. know the exact uh wording there but so maybe we will see some new stuff uh i'm gonna have a definitive list of this and i'm gonna do uh uh like a top three or i guess just a list of three because i'm gonna clump city connect and city jerseys together as number one and and i'm doing in concept as well rather than execution because i don't remember all of the jerseys off the top of my head well enough to do execution i'm gonna go city number one uh city city connect because, you know, again, it, I think it's a great opportunity for these teams to break out of their actual brand and do something in cl- completely different, like color-wise, logo-wise, anything-wise. Um, and, you know, I feel like course, Dallas pay is homage definitely... to the city that you like, li- you play in. I feel like Dallas is the one NHL team that you can argue has done a city jersey, so to speak. Yeah, I guess that's yeah. fair. Um, yeah. That, yeah. Um, my number two is going to be Color Rush in the NFL. Uh, again, concept, not execution, because while it's not quite the break in the brand that you get with City and City Connect, it's still kind of that where all of them, I, as far as I can remember, are at least something different from, you know, the home and away in some way, shape or form. And last is going to be reverse retro because, again, it's, you know, they're hit or miss in terms of looks, but it's the laziest in terms of, you know, actual mm-hmm. just concept. It's like, hey, let's take this old thing and change it up. Yeah, what you said was like you know, take an old car, put a new coat of paint on it or something like that. So yeah, that's my list. I think I have the same rankings, except I think I might switch 
Color Rush and Reverse Retro. I feel like Color Rush opens up a lot of fun opportunities. I would love to see the NHL. It's a lot of fun, but I think the one helmet rule really limits it. Oh, oh for sure. Good point. God. The Arizona jerseys with the black jersey pans and everything, and then a white helmet is just ugly as sin. But I, I, I guess it falls under whether you have the time for execution. Not- and I design something I hate and I always run into with concepts for certain teams is I am not a fan of I like it in football mostly, but in hockey I hate head to toe monochrome. Like I hate for the most part, like I like Leafs jerseys, don't get me wrong. Um, but like 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 Team Canada, for example, I I am happy that they wear black equipment. And that's weird to say to a lot of Canadians and you know, they'd rather have just red and white, but I, I like the visual break and the separation of elements there. Um, so I, I, I would like color rush in terms of like promoting a new primary color on the, on the Jersey and on the socks and stuff. But I would hope that there is, you know, not, you know, head to toe, you know, take a paintbrush and, and throw it over the Jersey and the equipment and everything. Like I, I would hope that they keep kind of that hockey aesthetic of, you know, yeah. contrasting pants in a lot of cases. 